Hey everybody, this is Sean Bodine with another episode of Route X Lap Attack. I haven't done the last episode in two months when I tested the 1988 Supra, but now we're going to be using the 1991 Mitsubishi GTO. Mitsubishi's always been my favorite Japanese car company, and getting as many of these cars as I can has always been a goal of mine in this game. I remember I had one of their cars in Gran Turismo 6. I think it was the FTO, however, not the GTO. And I got it up to 298 miles an hour. This car, however, will not be going that fast, but we should be able to set up a decent lap time. Whether or not we end up in the top 20 or not, I have no clue. I've played this game ever since I... Uh, bought the remake of Mafia, as well as Mafia 2. Mafia 2, I don't really think it's um, much of a remake, though. Like, it seems the same as the original. The only things they change is that you get extra clothing, as well as all free DLC. And when I say free clothing, I mean you can actually wear Tommy Angelo's pin <coughs> sorry, pinstripe suit or Lincoln Clay's combat uniform. You can also drive um, the taxi from the first Mafia game and Lincoln Clay's Samson Drifter. I like taking the Drifter out, you know, going around Empire Bay, even though it's supposed to be in 1951 and you got a brand new muscle car from 1968. Everyone turns their heads and like, what the fuck is that? Now, if only we could get that car into this game. It's actually supposed to be a Dodge Charger. We've got the new version from 2015, or the same model as the 2015. You know, it's basically a four-door. All we need to do now is get the 1970 version like the older games did. Because we've already got the 1970 Challenger. Or even better, for all you Dukes of Hazard fans, get the 69s paint them orange, get the confederate flag on the top. A lot of people have been doing that with the Challengers. They've tried to make General Lee. I even saw someone do that, I think, with a Ford GT. Which is funny, because I had my Dodge Viper in the striped tomato paint scheme, which is supposed to be based off of the Ford Gran Torino from Starsky and Hutch. So basically, you had a Ford and Dodge um, impersonating one another. Like the Ford was supposed to be the Dodge and vice versa. You know what else would be pretty cool if we could get... I'm trying to think. I don't remember what kind of car it is. I know it's a Chevy, but... I want to get the same car. It could be a Malibu. That um, Ace Ventura had. I've been talking to a lot of people about this at work because there's a lot of people around my area that are Giants fans or the Steelers when it comes to football. My favorite, ever since I was four years old, I, I remember seeing Ace Ventura for the first time. I always liked the Miami Dolphins because they basically have to rescue um, the mascot for the football team. I'm also trying to think, what should I test next? I know I said I wasn't going to do vision cars, but I really want to try out the new Mazda RX series that came out. Because I got a special paint scheme that I made um, to make it look like the RX-7 from Tokyo Drift. You know which one I'm talking about. It's orange, black, driven by Han. It's not perfect, but I think you'll like it. There were a few other Mitsubishis and Toyotas I wanted to show off, but once I sh get the Mazda out of the way, we'll get back to the two um, car companies. Five thousand meters, we're about to approach the tunnel. Two twenty-five is our top speed. Now, like I said, I know this won't be the best lap time, but hopefully it'll be something decent. 
that'll be in the top 20. close to the yellow line there. Let's go to the left. I want to try and stay exactly between the yellow line and the white line for the curve coming up ahead. I don't know what it is, but I always got to stay in the right. Because with a curve like this, you have a shorter distance. go too far to the right you'll end up losing a little bit of traction because of the gravel but if you go too far to the left you'll end up spending more time on the curve because it's wider out there Yeah, that's not going to get us into the 20, but a 503, that's not the worst. That's pretty decent. Let's take a look, see how we did. I think all the times here, oh wait. We made 17. We did make it. That's very good. We even uh, beat a Corvette. The MR2 that was pr uh, tested out in one of the older episodes. And there's the Super we did in the last episode two months ago. I wonder where that Mazda will pop up when I test it in the next episode. I hope you'll join me for that. Until then, see you later.